chair, chair, chair. Solid steel chair, solid steel chair, 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 solid steel chair. I'm getting me a pile of solid steel chairs. Look how many we got. Solid steel chair. Oh, son of a bitch. You guys, you're early again, man. I am not even done setting up here. I'm getting a whole pile of solid steel chairs because, well, this week's Will Genre Round, man, you're going to need it. You're going to want to know about it. Well, let me get this pile of solid steel chairs all set up, and you guys come back in just a minute, and we'll get to some lucha. Yeah! Do up here, the most electrifying man on YouTube entertainment. It is Friday. It is time to talk lucha. That's right. You guys know every Friday, do up is talking about lucha underground, which is on the L right network every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Guys, I'm always tuning in. I'm always hot and rock solid for the lucha action. This week was something special, man. We had the lucha underground title on the line in an amazing no disqualification match. But do up, up, up. Woo, woo, woo. You're getting ahead of yourself, man. Let's start at the top of the program where we found ourselves dead center in the middle of Trio's action. That's right. Evil East, the baddest bitch in the building. Joey Ryan and Exolicious are back in action this week as they're taking on that newly formed Rabbit Tribe. Yeah, we saw them last week debut. Paul London is back with a different set of morons in his Rabbit Tribe. Now he's got the White Rabbit and L Bunny. Well, these two trio teams set for action. Ding, 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 gloom. This match is underwear. And, man, I was pissed because I was for sure that Evil East was running the rambit on this new damn Freaking uh, rabbit tribe, man. I thought she was going to get it. I thought she was going to pull home the win for uh, Joey Ryan, Exolicious, and herself, Ivelisse. But that wasn't quite the case with this terrible new rabbit tribe. And once White Rabbit finally got tagged in, man, this guy, he's weird. He took a couple super kicks, didn't look like it affected at all. And in the end, he puts on this white glove and gives the mandible claw to Joey Ryan, knocking him out cold. Either way... I'm not too big of a fan of this new rabbit tribe, so we're moving on to match number two of the night. At this point, you guys should know the history between Killshot and Son of Havoc, all the way from their trios, trials, and tribulations to when Son of Havoc took Killshot's mask. I think it was an accident. I don't know. There's, it's still subject to controversy. Either way, second match of the night was Killshot and Son of Havoc, and these two just let it loose. After all of the double stomps, suicide dives, chops and super kicks that these two threw at each other in this match. Son of Havoc picks up the win with a roll around reversal. That's right, these two rolling around on the mat. Old school wrestling style, Son of Havoc got the upper hand. One, two, three, pins kill shot. And well, it was celebration time. But not for long because kill shot attacked Son of Havoc after the match. And well, he ripped his damn mask right off the top of his head. And well, he's, he's flying it around while the owner and promoter of Lucha Underground, Antonio Cueto, comes out with the microphone in hand and tells them coming up in four weeks at Ultima Lucha Cuatro, they're going to have a rematch and it will be mask versus mask. Somebody's going to lose it. Somebody's going to have to show their face to the world. Next up, we got Marty the Moth Martinez. That's right, he comes down to the ring with this brand new mysterious woman that we do not know nothing about. Either way, he's got his brand new Lucha Underground Championship in tow and he's headed down to the ring, microphone in hand, and well, he talked for quite a while and I'm going to sum it up for you real damn fast. Number one, he introduced this mysterious woman named Reclusa. Either way, she is an arachnid type spider woman who who apparently ate, killed, and destroyed Sexy Star. Hmm, who knew? Number two, he came down to the ring to um, pretty much thank his sister, Mariposa, for all of the inspiration that led him to the Lucha Underground Championship. With that, he says he owes her one, so he's gonna give her a championship title match. Tonight, ding, 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 this match is now underwear. 
Marta the Moth Martinez versus Sister Mariposa Lucha Underground Gold on the line. This got violent. This got very violent very fast. And well, as the owner and promoter of Lucha Underground, Antonio Cueto, says the more violent the better. Suddenly this match was no disqualification either. And well, thank God because these two quite killed each other. Had there been disqualifications, the match would have been over fast. Throwing each other into the chairs on the outside were all the believers sit. Marty the Moth picked up Mariposa, gave her a powerbomb into the steel barricade that holds the believers back, and then straight onto the floor, man. Brutal violence. Mariposa fought back, man. This bitch has got some guts. She threw her brother Marty the Moth into the announce table and then threw a pile of chairs on top of him. Just whipping a chair and a chair and a chair on top of the pile of chairs. Marty the Moth was buried in steel and getting his ass beat. We're gonna pause right here for a quick reenactment of what actually happened to Marty the Moth Martinez. In our reenactment, Braun Strowman is gonna play the part of Marty the Moth and James Ellsworth is gonna play the part of Mariposa. I hate you, brother. Oh, you're so stupid. Oh, duh, you wanna play with chairs? Let's play, bitch. Oh, uh, eat it, yeah. Oh, chair pile of death. Uh. Back inside the ring, the action did not let up as Marty the Moth Martinez getting his ass handed to him by his sister. She's about to deliver the final and finishing blow when that recluse sneaks into the ring, kicks her and knocks her out. Man, Marty the Moth at that point got his hands back on his sister and then taunted the crowd you know, imitating and mimicking Pentagon Dark, Sato Miedo, gives Mariposa the package pile driver pins her one, two, three, and still Lucha Underground champion Marty the Moth Martinez. I forgot to say that he broke her arm. He broke the bitch's arm. Back to the action. Then he challenges Pentagon Dark at Ultima Lucha Quattro to a Sato Miedo match. Well, Pentagon Dark comes running out, man, and he accepts. That's right. At Ultima Lucha 404, it's going to be Pentagon Dark and uh, Marty the Moth Martinez for Lucha Underground Gold and a Seto Miedo match. If you guys want to know what type of match that is, go back and watch the uh, Ultima Lucha Season 1 Pentagon Dark versus Vampiro. That is a Seto Miedo match. Go watch it. You'll thank me when you did. Either way, that was all the action this week on Lucha Underground, man. I hope you guys are tuning in. This shit is badass, and I love it. But as for now, my watch right there says I'm out of time. Gotta get to moving. Like the video. Leave those comments if you haven't done it already. Subscribe for some more fucking do up. Yeah! What's up, everybody? This is Darewolf PJ Black, and I'm hanging out with my man, do up <laughs> And if you haven't already, subscribe to his channel. Like it. You know, do whatever you do. Watch it again and again and again. And also subscribe to my channel. You got anything for them? Oh, uh, yeah. I got three words for them. <laughs> Eat it. Yeah! You know them. <laughs> I do know. <laughs>